Welcome back to the channel. I see a lot of videos where operators are standing very close to the operating torch with no eye or respiratory protection. Here are some of them. I am sure all of them would say they do it all the time and they're just fine. What's the problem? The problem is that these fumes are chronically toxic and continued exposure over decades can and will lead to emphysema or worse. Most guys operating Langmuir CNC plasma cutters are small fabricators and hobbyists. They cannot afford expensive elimination systems. However, there are some inexpensive steps you can take to significantly reduce your exposure to these harmful fumes. Most expo exposure limits are given in parts per million. Anything you can do to decrease your exposure concentrations is always beneficial. The most obvious thing that you can, that can be done is to maximize the distance between the operator and the active torch. Having operator consoles attached to the bed assembly is not always a good idea. Run the longest USB cable that you can between your computer console and the bed assembly as you possibly can. The next thing you can do is wear a respirator during torch operation. They're inexpensive and are very effective. Here's a typical respirator that I use that is very effective. Another thing you can do is use a fan to rapidly disperse the fumes, thereby reducing the concentration that the operator will be subjected to. I'm a hobbyist who runs his plasma table in the garage. This pretty much precludes using an overhead smoke <clears throat> and fume elimination system. I operate the torch with the garage door open. I have placed a three foot fan on top of a service cutter. I place the fan next to the table just before cutting. This rapidly disperses the fumes and thereby significantly reduces my exposure level. Here's what the carton fan looked like. Let's look at this setup <clears throat> in action. First, we'll look at the smoke and fumes generated without fan dispersion, and then with fan dispersion. As you can see, the smoke just rises from the work area. You do not want to be breathing these highly concentrated fumes. Now let's look at what the smokes look like with fan dispersion. As you can see, the smoke is rapidly sucked into the fan and dispersed, thereby reducing the concentration of particulates in the air. Okay, some of you are saying the smoke has not been eliminated, but merely diluted. Therefore, the risk remains the same. This is not true. 
Anytime you reduce concentration through dilution, you reduce risk. I'm not trying to eliminate the risk, but abate it. In any case, it is better than just inhaling the highly concentrated gases. And besides, I'm also wearing a respirator. Thanks for watching.